And um, so to design a box space system is then a job of how many ales do I need? How long do I have to make the whole stuff? So how wide shall it be? How many cranes? And we say social trivial machine, stacker cranes inside the yellow things do we need? That is a performance question. And how many of these, I would say, um, uh, circulating, pallet circulating system we have. This is a little bit currently what is in Jebel Ali in operation. And um, now I would like to show you other examples. Here, for example, you see um, the layout for a rail terminal. This rail terminal um, is basically that what you see at the rail track. This is the, the key ball. Uh, um, the job is similar. You take the container off the ship, in this case, it's the rail track car. From there, um, the container goes, now the computer is a little bit overloaded, I think, uh, it's, it's being taken um, to the um, uh, AGV, and from there, the AGV brings the whole stuff into the, um, into the high-base source system. Now, which computer says, I have to continue somehow, and maybe that I go to the next slide. On the other side of that high base storage system, well, if you play with these tools, with these Lego modules, you can design lots of different solutions. For example, you can move the container over the landside road, again on a shifting car. The shifting car maybe now connect the stack directly with the next spot in the logistics, which could be uh, the logistics center where containers are going to be unpacked and you put the, the stuff in trucks and whatever. So um, the box bay and using box bay um, is, let's say, um, a big step forward. It, tra it, it, it changes the operating mode. It is a disruptive thing. Normally in container terminals, you um, had a relationship in between the yard density stacking higher and higher, influencing your operational performance. And that is with box bay no longer the case. You can improve the yard density by far and open up a new field. In other words, you get land or you create a possibility where you don't have land. But even if you have land, many of our uh, potential customers coming to us say, well, maybe it, it could be a good decision that we condense that what we do, produce land and do on the land other things with other value adding procedures, logistics, for example. And that is, that is a little bit of further thinking of the whole thing. Well, Patrick may refer later on that. And now, um, of course, it is the case, Box Bay, that was very clear from the beginning when we designed it with uh, DP World together, should be have the capability that you are easy to retrofit brownfield things. You have, of course, some one day to take a, an area out of operation. That should be not too big because it influences your capacity, but it should be also large enough that the next retrofitting step, well, is not producing any more a problem because putting box bay there creates so much storage capacity that the next step is not hurting you anymore.